Last year we were, we were down some, but nothing like this. And so measures have been taken this year, quite drastic measures. Drought and flooding appear to be the new normal in the Cowichan region, putting our community's water supply and our watersheds under extreme stress. About mid-July last year, right here, I was standing in the river. Well, it's a big deal for the Catalyst Mill because uh, that's our, our biggest industry in the valley and they depend on that water. They extract between 1.6 and 1.9 cubic meters per second from the river and they depend on that for mill operations. So that, that's a very important thing, but tubing gets pretty bumpy uh, on a tube when, when you're in the lower flows and, and so it limits the number of places that you can tube comfortably and that's, that's big for our tourism. But certainly uh, fish are important. Couch and tribes, this river and this watershed, everything for Cowichan and tribes, it's, it's cultural, it's social, it's spiritual, it's economic. Those, those values are just so important and so entrenched in their culture. I think it's the first time in history that we've closed, um, we close up to Scutts Falls. Now we've closed the whole river to our members fishing. Due to the low flows as we're standing here where water should be flowing, um, it's, it's very crucial to save those fish that we have tried to restore the stocks in the river and we're trying to get the DFO and provincial government to follow suit and closing it to everyone. Now Couch and Tribes and DFO are saying, whoa, we've got these spring salmon in this system. That's a pretty important species. And it's all wrapped up. The killer whales, those resident killer whales out in the strait, they eat Chinook salmon. That's the mainstay of their diet. And here we have a, a river that's a big producer of Chinook, which have been on the decline. I sit on the fishing committee as well. And it was, it was hard to get our members to jump on board with this but they, they could see the devastation from last year. Like, th the water is not here. We need to do something. Catalyst Paper has requested approval to reduce flows at the Lake Cowichan Weir from 5.5 to 4.5 cubic meters per second. Some are concerned that would add to problems for supporting fish habitat. The situation that, that, we're, that we're in is we've got a problem, but we can solve that problem by raising that weir. And it's that simple. So the CVRD has really uh, stepped up. This past spring, there was an, an application for gas tax money for over $7 million to restructure that weir so it would hold back more water so we could have flows. If we run out of water and or it's contaminated, there's no way of getting that, that back to the pristine. This is a heritage river. It's time for individuals to adapt to change, say the watershed board members. Follow volunteers who are leading in water conservation, those working to restore clam beds, or salvaging fish in the upper part of the watershed, enhancing the estuary, or supporting riparian areas. And the people in this community know a lot about water, and they care a lot about water, and I think that people who know and care if they're empowered, they can get things done. The great thing about the Cowichan is the community. We've got all these heroes working together in this community and, and we can be successful.